So about a year ago, my kid's friend tried to paint his own skateboard and he, he just made a total mess of the project. And they came, they came out to the barn and were telling me about it. And I said, you know what, just leave it with me and I'll fix it up for you. So I made a video about the project and it's become, I think, the most popular how to paint a skateboard video. So if you were to Google how to paint a skateboard, I'm pretty sure that my video comes up first. So uh, one of the questions I get all the time is, where do you get your skateboard blanks? Because that's what they call a skateboard without any graphics. And I get them from a place called Skate Page. And I'll put a link in the description so you can go check out their website. And this skateboard I'm going to paint with what's called a inkjet transfer. So basically you, you make an image on your computer and you print it out on label paper. So get a piece of label paper and remove all the labels so you're printing on the, uh, it's kind of a glossy side. And the reason for that is the ink doesn't absorb into the paper. It just sort of floats right on top of the paper and then you can transfer it onto the raw wood of the skateboard. Now, real quick note, if you're going to do this, if there's any finish on the board, you have to remove the finish first, and you can usually do that just by sanding it. So right now I've got the label paper with the ink facing up, and I'm using a little painter's tape to help me make sure that everything is lined up straight. Okay, so you only get one shot with this. If you don't do it right, then you're going to have a problem and you'll have to sand the ink off of the board. Okay, well, that worked out pretty good. It's not perfect, but I can live with it. There's a few ink drops here and on the line here, but all in all, it's, it's pretty clear. The, the main thing you don't want to do is move the paper around and smear the image. Now, real quick, uh, this is a picture of the Barcelona chair. That's a, a famous chair designed by Mies van der Rohe. This image here is a drawing of Lisa Lyon. She was a bodybuilder in the 80s and photographed by Robert Maplethorpe and I just like the image. I like the way they work with the the figure and the two chairs and this is the ant chair. I sprayed a thin coat of lacquer over the image and that basically just locks the image in and seals the wood. Now I'm going to keep working on the design and I've decided that I want kind of a half circle around the truck mounts and it turns out that this wire spindle is just about the perfect diameter. So I'll put this in place and then trace it with a pencil. Now I'm using fine line tape to tape the image out. And this tape allows you to make bends. And you can find this just by doing a, a Google search for fine line tape. It's made by 3M. I've covered the image with painter's tape and I'm going to use a razor blade and carefully cut through the painter's tape but not through the fine line tape.
Okay, well, except for maybe two or three more coats of clear, this board is finished. And I often get the question, what do you do with the skateboards when you finish painting them? And I've got three boys and they all skate. And they used to skate on the boards, but I don't think they're going to skate on them any longer. This one is Jack's, and you can see that he skated on this uh, pretty good. Uh, but this one's going to Walter, because now the boys are collecting them as art pieces for their rooms. And uh, it's almost like a fight over who gets the next skateboard. So this one's going to Walter. And they're just fun to make. I like painting skateboards. And it was really the whole reason why I got into woodworking when I was a kid, is to make a skateboard. I made my, my first skateboard out of solid oak, which was... Uh, not the best skateboard, but uh, a good learning experience, I guess. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you soon.